Hello everybody! How are you doing? I hope you are well. Poor thing, she was sleeping. Hi everyone! How are you all doing? I hope you are well. Welcome to the second gift guide. Today we're going to be doing something away from beauty. We're going to be doing a lot of stocking stuffers as well as some unique style gifts that you can give someone for Christmas or over the holidays or to buy yourself, whatever floats your boat. This particular gift guide took a lot longer to put together than my beauty one, so I'm very excited to show you what I have in this gift guide. I've curated a lot of my favorite things. I sound like Oprah. <laughs> These are my favorite things. And a lot of what I'm showing you here today are also quite androgynous. I got a request to do a more androgynous styled gift guide, and so this particular gift guide has a lot more in it for anyone. There are still some things in here that are quite feminine because that's more of my style, that's what I really enjoy, and so it's easier for me to pick those things out, but I do have something in here for everyone. And the prices that I'm showing you today are a wider range, so hopefully there's something in here for every single Christmas budget. The first gift idea I have today is the Little Book of Huga, The Danish Way to Live Well. This is my favorite nighttime read, but it's also a great coffee table book. It's one of those books that you can really pick it up on any page and read about it, but it's also in chapter form too. So so if you want to read through it from front to back you can, or if you just want to read about little sections. There's recipes in here, there's inspiration for your home, there's happiness facts, there's a lot of advice on happiness in relationships, and I just love the stats. I think it's so cool to learn more about happiness. I was kind of on my own little journey about how to be happy and what I really wanted in life. I know we're getting a little deep here, but this book really made me see that it's the simple things in life and the cozy things in life that really do make me anyway most happy and a lot of other people according to this book. It's so beautiful, it's very aesthetically pleasing and I think anyone would be excited to receive this book even if they hadn't heard about it before. The second gift I have is actually a series called Paper Girls. Now obviously you can either gift this as a singular book or you can get the series. I believe they're up to volume three right now but this is a comic book series about these young badass girls and they're paper girls and what I love about this is that it breaks down some stereotypes it's set in the past so it really makes you see how backwards some thinking was but amidst all that they're fighting aliens solving a mystery and just being badass girls if you have a feminist in your life a stranger things lover or someone in the LGBT community I guarantee that they will love this book especially the fans of stranger things I think this would really satisfy any cravings you have after after you finish the series. I have volume one and two here and you better know that I'll be picking up volume three very soon. Or waiting for Christmas. Oh, that's always the biggest debate with Christmas, isn't it? Should I get it now or should I just wait? The colors in here are spectacular and the artistry is just so cool. Next I'm going to do my biggest clothing item to get it out of the way so that I can move on to some stocking stuffers, but I had to feature this in today's video and this is a coat by Ted Baker. It is a wool bomber jacket with rose gold hardware. If you follow me on Instagram you'll be quite familiar with this and I get a lot of questions and compliments on this coat. The faux fur is removable. I also had some people asking me or saying that they hope that this is faux fur. It is definitely faux fur. I would never wear Wear real fur but it's awesome to have the option to take this off if you want to and just wear it as a gray bomber jacket the lining is one of my favorite parts I know that's a little silly but I just love the lining of it and the little Ted Baker details in here like the rose gold hardware this is a piece that I feel like a lot of people could really use in their wardrobe if not this one because this one is quite expensive then a bomber jacket of some sort I have a bomber jacket from the men's section at forever 21 that looks just like the one 11 wears in stranger things and I I love it. It was really inexpensive, but this one is my favorite and a very luxurious gift to get somebody for Christmas. If you're into that realm, if not, I would check out other stores because bomber jackets are great layering pieces. You better know that I'll be wearing this back to Newfoundland over the holidays. It's also the perfect jacket to shop in because it doesn't get too warm, but it keeps you warm enough to get in and out of the mall. Let's move on into stocking stuffers because they're some of the most special little things to receive and harder to shop for sometimes because I, I don't know about 
about you guys, but I find myself getting the same things all the time for stockings. So hopefully this will spark a little bit of creativity in your shopping. First was actually a gift given to me as well, and I really appreciated it, so I thought I would show it to you guys. These are cotton candy white chocolate chocolate bars. Yes, you heard me right. And this one right here has some chew marks on it because the cats chewed on the outside of the box. They're like, ooh, cardboard, let me put my teeth through it. I told you all in my last gift guide that I was going to do more local products and this is the first one. These bars are made in Quebec City. It says bar pa pa pa. That's one of my favorite words in French. But the packaging isn't even the best part. Let me show you the inside. If you watched my live stream earlier the month, you would have seen one of the other top chocolate bars that I opened. Just take a look at this chocolate. Isn't that beautiful and crazy? And this smells exactly like cotton candy. This is amazing. The chocolate is sweet, but so tasty and so smooth. It's really colorful. So if you have a chocolate or a candy fanatic in your family or amongst your friends, this is such a great choice for them. The company that makes this chocolate is called Chocolat Favori. But if you can't find this particular chocolate bar, I highly recommend going to local chocolate shops and companies. One of my favorites back in Newfoundland is the Newfoundland Chocolate Company. They make some of the most amazing chocolate I've ever had in my life, but there's bound to be one close to you somewhere, if not online. So a great idea is to order sweets or treats for your stockings from a local business or a small business, and it's a great way to support your local economy and the people within your community. And they make some of the tastiest and most unique things you'll find anywhere. Sticking to the local companies, I have one of my favorite jewelry pieces here from a Newfoundland jewelry designer called Sparks Design. She also owns Wink in St. John's, which is a really cool gift shop and jewelry shop downtown, one of my favorite shops downtown St. John's. But her pieces are really original and very stunning. If I'm not mistaken, the stones used for these necklaces are actually curated in Newfoundland, found and then placed within the jewelry, so it's really special to me. It's like a little piece of home. Yeah, I believe her jewelry is made with Labradorite, and they're very unique pieces, so I don't think you'll be able to find any that are the same. Some of my other favorite designs by her have have Moonstone as its gem and those ones are just magical. Her jewelry is very unique, handmade and made with sterling silver as well so these pieces are gonna last you a lifetime. And because her designs are so unique I'm just going to link her shop in the description bar down below so you can take a scroll through to see if anything catches your eye and maybe you'll find the perfect piece for a special someone in your life. You never know. I couldn't end off these local gift favorites without mentioning another fantastic jewelry designer back in Newfoundland and also a shop owner, Elizabeth Burry. I have one of her pieces here and this is one of the best gifts I ever received and my dad gave me and my sister this a couple of years ago and we still love and cherish it. It's this beautiful bracelet that was designed by Elizabeth Burry and on the end there's a little charm that says sister. I've had this for a very long time and I love it so dearly. If you are in Newfoundland and you're looking for something very special, I really recommend going to Elizabeth Burry. I believe she also has a shop in Trinity. I'll also check to see if she's online, but what I've received from her and what I've gifted by her in the past have always been very special and big hits. I also have this pair of socks that she sells as well and this was given to me by a family friend recently and I cannot take these off. They're so cool. I think socks are such a great way to go at Christmas. They're amazing stocking stuffers. Haha, <laughs> get it? <laughs> stocking stuffers? You're stuffing the stocking with stocking the uh, bad one, Chelsea. These ones are particularly cool and awesome for wearing around the house, but some of my other favorites are by Roots. I have a lot of really thick, amazing winter socks from Roots that I wear constantly. I also wear them when I go camping, and I get a lot of use out of them all year round. Roots are a little bit easier to get your hands on, so I will link my favorite socks by them in the description bar down below. And then maybe you can stuff your stockings with some more stockings. 
like I do. <laughs> Another weird but really cool idea for a stocking stuffer, maybe for your mom or dad or maybe someone who just moved into a new apartment or a house or maybe just because you like them. And that idea is a really gorgeous set of coasters. These particular ones I picked up at HomeSense, so they're really cool and unique. I believe they're by Queen West, a brand here in Ontario. They're these cool marble coasters. They're quite heavy so they're not going to slip off your counter very easily and they're just such a nice additive for your home. So if you find some cool coasters, I'd stick them in a stocking. And if you get marble ones, they're very Instagrammable. So there you go. The Instagrammer in your life. <laughs> or the flat lay connoisseur in your life. My next stocking stuffer is great if you know somebody who owns an espresso machine or if you happen to be giving someone an espresso machine as well. And that is the Nespresso Holiday Collection Capsules. Now you guys know if you've been watching my past videos or if you follow me on Instagram, I worked with Nespresso this past year. I decided to put this in my gift guide because I actually am a huge fan of Nespresso. So I had to mentioned their Christmas capsules, specifically their Orangette Christmas capsules, which tastes like a Terry's chocolate orange. It has that like reminiscence of orange chocolate. Their Winterette, I believe that's what it's called, their Winterette flavor is also really, really nice. It's kind of like coconutty. But this one is one of my favorites, and if you know someone with an espresso machine, I would highly recommend this flavor. And that being said, if you're looking for a larger, unique gift to get someone, the Nespresso Ascenza Mini is fantastic. It's more budget-friendly than the other ones and there's quite a lot of sales going on lately. I know that the Bay just did a really great sale on Nespresso machines so if that's something you're interested in you can check it out. And this video is not sponsored I just genuinely love my machine. <laughs> my final unique gift idea could be a stocking stuffer but also a gift on its own or perfect to place inside of a card and that is lessons or an experience of some sort. A lot of times people forget about themselves and there are a lot of selfless people out there that forget to treat themselves sometimes and I think passing on an experience to them rather than an item or passing on some cool lessons of any sort is a really really great special gift to give somebody. My sister and I gave my dad guitar lessons a couple of years back and he absolutely loved them. It was a really emotional and special moment for our whole family to be able to give him something that was just for him, that he would really love and enjoy. He loves playing guitar, but he never took formal lessons and it was really special to be able to give him something that he always gave us. You know, my mom and my dad spent a lot of time driving my sister and I around to extracurriculars and signing us up to make sure that we were well-rounded, but also um, doing things that we really loved. And they don't always get to do that. So it was so cool to be able to pass that on to my dad. That being said, this year I started ballet lessons. So that's something that I might ask for for Christmas is the next semester of my ballet lessons. But you can also treat people to date nights and do up a cute little date night gift set where you might want to put in some popcorn or chocolate and movie tickets or a Netflix passcode if someone doesn't have it. I don't know who doesn't have Netflix, but you know what I mean. That's like a classic gift set. But giving someone something that can take them out of their everyday lives and their busy schedules to just do something that's good for their soul and a learning experience and something that they'll never forget. Anyway guys, those are my gift ideas, a little bit more on the creative side, as well as some stocking stuffers if you're looking for some really cool and different ideas. I hope you found this video helpful and if they're not already, everything in this gift guide or links to things that are very similar will be in the description bar down below. And don't forget to click that shiny any red subscribe button. It won't bite. Much. Well, it depends. Are you going to watch Vlogmas? If you don't watch Vlogmas, maybe it will bite. But that's an exciting little announcement. As of December 1st, I will be starting Vlogmas. And I will be putting up videos at least five days a week during Vlogmas. So get excited for those fun Christmassy vlogs starting December 1st. Anyway, guys, I hope you're having a lovely start to the holidays. And I will see you in tomorrow's vlog. Bye! Okay, now to put this coat away because Willow likes to haul the fur out of it. Okay.